Here is part two of the overview for the new FireTech FTQ 4x16 Compact Special Effects Module. In this video, we will demo loading scripts, step firing, and using a small RF remote. That's a lot of functionality out of this compact device. Just like the larger FTQ 16x64, we can go into the USB host menu, follow the on-screen prompts to insert a USB drive, and we can load a prepared script. Here we will manually assign the module to ID1. And the script for ID1 will load into the module. The screen is now reporting that the upload is completed. With the demo script I prepared, which was titled FTQ 4x16 Pyro Test. It also shows that there is a total T of 16 events and that there are 16 Pyro P events and 0 DMX or D events in the script. Once we remove the USB drive, the module will restart. PRG on the screen indicates that the script is uploaded and the S on the screen indicates it is networked as a slave. And I happen to have an FTM controller set up as master. We can also go into the channel status menu and see the script information for each pyro event, such as firing time and product information. This can be helpful for simple setups or on the fly checks. The module detects that there are no igniters plugged in, but we are going to trial run the script and just watch the LEDs that are integrated on the rail. From the FTM controller, we'll arm the system. Once it's armed, we'll put the system in play to start the script. Not only do the LEDs allow you to test run your script, in the field with igniters plugged in, the LEDs provide an indication at the rail of good continuity. If the igniter is plugged in and there is bad continuity, the LEDs will flash during continuity tests for that igniter. The FTQ 4x16 firing module can also be controlled with a small RF remote. Let's restart the module and put it in master mode by holding the green forward button down as it powers up. We can see the M for master mode on the screen and since it still has the same script loaded it also indicates PRG on the screen for program. Immediately after it starts up and goes into test if we push a button on the small remote the module will receive that signal, but realize that it's not synchronized to the small remote. So it will bring up the small remote learn screen to ask you if you want to assign the small remote to the individual buttons for the four possible functions. On the screen, we can see blue flashing waiting for our input to assign the button for the blue backwards button. Now we'll assign the green forward button. And then we also have the option for alternate one and alternate two. Lastly, we decide if the module is going to accept that button assignment by selecting OK on the module. For this demo, we'll plug our rail back in without the igniters and we'll be using just the integrated LEDs again. The configuration settings have arming with the small remote disabled. So I will arm it by holding down the green forward button on the module itself. Once armed, I can use the upper right button of the remote assigned to the green forward button to play the script. And I can also use that button to pause the script and resume the script. Now that we've finished the script, I can use the left upper button that's assigned to the backwards function to also put the script back into pause and then finally put the system back into test mode.
Another handy feature for simple setups is being able to use the small remote to simply step fire through the rail. First, let's delete the script that we had loaded. To do that, we can hold down the blue backwards button to go back into the USB host menu, just like we were going to load a script. But here, we choose to cancel out of the USB host, and we get the option to cancel out of the USB host menu or delete the script. And with a longer hold of the green forward button, we can delete the script. This module is still in master mode, so again, we'll hold down the green forward button to put the unit in armed mode. Now, with the lower right button on the small remote that we assign to the alternate two function, we can step through the rail. This is a convenient option for simple setups or ad hoc situations without the need to create a new script or use the FTM controller. It also allows you to take a larger FireTech system and break it down to support multiple smaller projects. Once done, we can use the upper left button on the small remote assigned to the blue backwards button to put the unit back into test mode. Well, that was part two of a series of overview videos on this compact FTQ 4x16 firing module from FireTech. The next video, part three, will go through DMX control with this compact special effects module. For more information, contact FireTech 